Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, we will have a walkthrough of inventory status uh, under the inventory management. So let's start now. Each inventory item uh, has a status that is associated with it. And if we talk about the inventory status feature, so it enables us to associate attributes to the item in order to drive the internal process. Like uh, in any uh, business, if uh, some uh, inspection process is uh, going on that is pending like for quality management and all some, some inspections are required. So in that case, for that uh, situation, we can uh, make some uh, inventory as uh, or we can change the status of that inventory from available to unavailable along with that it can be created uh, for uh, on hand inventory and uh, inbound and outbound transactions so it can be used for categorizing inventory as available and unavailable as i have told you just now that for uh, some uh, uh, quality control management and some internal processes if we want to change the status so we can do that so uh, this will be helpful uh, in uh, you know taking the appropriate actions like replenishment or put away works so in that case we can change the status and uh, one more thing to note over here that we can change the status of inventory and it can be changed due to the arrival of some damage and some loss that is associated with an item we can manually change the status of inventory item and create new statuses for our own uh, unique requirements or needs based on the situation. Uh, like, you know, uh, if we talk about the inventory status change, so uh, let's take an example over here. If we have uh, some 20 units that are being damaged, uh, that are being damaged due to some reasons. So in that case, uh, we can uh, change the status of those uh, units of those items from good to damage so that such items uh, uh, cannot be used for being sold. It means it cannot be used for uh, further uh, transactions as uh, the goods are being damaged. So in that uh, manner, we can you know uh, change the status of any inventory item. Moving on to the NetSuite application, uh, the first thing that uh, we can do is we can uh, create the status record and for that we can go into the list, supply chains. Here we have the option of inventory status. So you can see that uh, currently if we have uh, these uh, inventory status available and by default the status that is uh, selected is, you can see this is the default status is good. And we can uh, create our own inventory status if we want to based on our requirements or based on the requirements of the business. So I will click on this new inventory status. The custom form is already selected. Now here I have to provide the name like I am taking here. This name quality control. And uh, uh, since, you know, if uh, we are uh, changing, uh, if we are, you know, selecting any status to damage, so we can remove this checkbox. So by removing the checkbox from make inventory available for commitment, uh, this uh, uh, status, you know, the status, I'm not talking about the quality control, I'm talking about the damage status. So the due to some uh, damage, uh, the when the items are not available for selling it into the market and we do not uh, want to use it on transactions so we can remove this checkbox and those items will not be uh, used uh, for the uh, further uh, transactions so uh, right now i am not checking uh, right now i am not clearing this i am making this uh, status available for commitment further we have the option like uh, if we want to make this uh, status available for allocation and planning so we can make it if we want to make this status inactive so we can check this box i am not checking it as i have provided the name for this inventory status i will click on save now you can see that this inventory status is active i'll go into list so here is the one that I have created that is quality control and this uh, uh, inventory status is active. 
so this is about the creation of uh, inventory status uh, the other thing that uh, we should uh, know about the inventory status is how can we uh, change the status as i have told you that due to some damage or some unforeseen uh, circumstances the in the items are not now available for using it on transaction so we can change the status of those items for that we'll go into transaction inventory here we have the option of inventory status change so this is the inventory status change form these transaction numbers and uh, all will be automatically generated after saving the record the date it can be today's date uh, if i if you want to select any back date so we can select it location here i am taking this location now uh, under the status change we have these two options that is previous status and revised status so obviously the previous status that is taken by default is good uh, previously it was good but now due to the damage i will be marking this as damage as i do not want to use it on the transaction so i will be marking it as a damage you can see that as i have selected the location the subsidiary is already been populated i do not have to mention it now if you go down here so under the item sub tab we have to mention the item that we want to you know uh, change the status for so here i will take this led monitor 0089 i will change its uh, you know like i found uh, some two units to be damaged we have to configure the inventory detail of it this is the serial number that we have to select as we are you know uh, changing the status for two units so again we have to take another serial number now the quantity equals to 2 i will click on add you can see that the inventory detail has been configured i will click on it in this manner in the similar manner if we want to uh, add some more items for changing their status from good to damage or for this particular location so we can uh, use uh, as many uh, items as we want under the custom sub tab there are certain things that are required to be filled so we are done with it now i will click on save so here we got the confirmation that our inventory status change has been saved successfully i'll go into list and this is the uh, status change that i have created for canadian subsidiary currency is here this is the internal id that has been automatically generated if we get into it view it so you can see the transaction number and the status change number is already populated this is for led monitor 0089 now the two quantities have been uh, marked from good to damage these are these will not be using on any transaction after making the inventory status change the last step is we have to track the inventory balances by status so uh, here there are various options for you know having a look at the inventory status change so the first thing we can get into the invent uh, item record list accounting items so this is the item page now i will be here searching for this led LED monitor zero zero eight nine. So here also under the uh, this is the um, LED monitor uh, record. In order to see the inventory status detail, we have to go into the inventory detail. Here it is. so you can see that as i have selected over there a uh, canadian uh, location that is canadian warehouse
so you can see that uh, for these these items uh, for sorry for these serial number items i have marked the uh, those items as damaged so now it is showing over here since we have only uh, two items uh, that are you know damaged so the status shown over here is damaged this is the one thing and the inventory status is also visible over here like damaged are two items and the quality of the okay or good items is one on hand quantity this is this is how we can have the inventory status the other way that we have is a uh, we can you know have a in, we can have an inventory balance search for that we can go into the reports saved searches or save search a new so here uh, we can we can get into the inventory balance so this is the saved search for inventory balance search we can change its name id will be automatically generated i want to make it as public as a and uh, available as list view now under the criteria we have to mention the location so here i am taking this canadian warehouse i have provided a criteria now under the results we have these options item bin number and all now i will simply you know uh, save and run this report so here you can see that the inventory status the inventory balance status is visible to us we can see that for this item the status is good for this item the status is damaged the on hand and the available quantity is also available the if the uh, items are using bin numbers so these are also available the location is here as i have mentioned it under the criteria so i have uh, the view of the canadian warehouse uh, items and their status and the available quantity and the on hand quantity is also available so in this manner we can uh, have an inventory balance search so we have seen how can we uh, create a uh, an inventory status how can we ch make changes in it sorry how can we change the status from good to damage or any other status if we want to based on the requirement along with that we have also seen uh, where and how can we see Uh, the inventory balance under the item record also and with by creating a, a separate saved search for that item sorry for that uh, status also so in this manner we can have the inventory status so that's all about the topic in case of any questions and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you